Hey guys, this is My Life on Horses, and I am just walking out to go see my pony, who is out there. Hi! My lovely girl. I'm filming you. Careful, 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 yeah. Okay. <laughs> no, don't smile. Stay there, stay there. Do you want to try and smile for everybody? You want to try and smile? <laughs> you have to hold still. I can't get it. You gotta back up. You gotta back up. Thank you. Okay. Hey guys, I'm back. She, Ava wanted to kind of be a part of this, so she can if she wants. Let me sit down comfortably. Okay, so today I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, horse ownership options. And just so you know, there's not only one option. So I kind of wanted to go over that so you could kind of realize that you don't have to do everything that everybody else is doing. So there, I have a couple of categories that I'd like to go over. Um, let me get them out. So there's like the highest level where you're competitive and say you're training like five days a week or something. And hi, you be so sweet. show horse or whatever and you're trying to get to a really high level of training and it's purely riding it's not owning the horse really or you know leasing um, so yeah that's one option that you could have and there's a, actually around here we have a lot of competitive people doll no, no, no. let's back it up can't get destroyed because that's there we go. Yeah, let's back it up. Here, back it up. There we go. Okay. And yeah, I have a lot of competitive people here where I live, and it's really annoying sometimes because I don't do a lot with my horse, even though I love her to death. And yeah, it gets complicated and difficult at times. So the next one is where you're kind of competing, or if you want to just do some leisure riding, which a lot of other people do here also. Um, it just depends where you go but um, yeah that's just kind of where you go to a couple shows a year maybe but you're mainly just riding for fun and all of that and then next one is where you are doing no competing and just leisure riding where you're just doing it for the pure fun of it like trail riding maybe stuff in the arena but um, otherwise that's about it that's another option that you could do another option where you just ride every once in a while but you still own horses or maybe lease a horse and just ride maybe a couple times a week um, yeah that's kind of what I was doing with my girl for a little while but um, yeah we kind of toned it down because I had a lot of school and work to do so uh, yeah and then the last option is where you could just have a horse and not ride at all <laughs> and yes that might sound a little weird to some people and I'm not biased or anything I've gone through every single level of horse ownership so right now I am kind of at the no riding slash some riding um, place right now and I kind of like it it's you don't have to worry about doing anything you just spend time with them and it's just really nice and I know that some people might think you know oh it's a waste of a horse or it's super expensive or oh my god I could never do that or whatever but you know that's your opinion it's everybody's different and some people just love to have their horse and just to have one some people just have it just to have it.
think about every little detail and it's just really difficult. So right now we're just kind of, I don't know, just chilling, getting some exercise. We'll go on walks. I'll brush her. Out of a horse on the ground. She's just a little nervous being on, the, on her back. But you know what? I don't really mind. She's kind of buddy, and um, that's about it. Had her since she was two, and she's eight now. Done all of her training, and she's a pretty good girl. It's not like I haven't ridden her a lot. The year of 2012, that summer, I rode five days a week, and. I even ride maybe six days a week sometimes. Yeah, she was a baller then. She was pretty awesome, but and it was pretty nice. I still thought about not riding too much because that's a lot to think about. But anyways, I'm getting off track, aren't I? So yeah, you have all those options. You don't have to worry about you know getting up to climb world standards and doing what everybody else is doing. I mean. It's your horse, or the horse you lease. I mean, it's just what you want to do. You don't have to worry about everybody else or peer pressure or anything. Yeah, you might get a couple dirty looks, but everybody gets dirty looks in their life. So, if you're trying to avoid that, it's not really realistic. So, I hope that helps a little bit. Um, so, anyways, guys. Of horse ownership. It's really nice.